Hot Start, the world leader in engine heating solutions. Hot Start is committed to providing our customers with the best support possible. This step-by-step -step guide is intended to assist you in properly installing a Hot Start tank heater to your engine heating application. Hot Start tank style engine heaters rely on several key installation factors for proper operation. These are guidelines that if followed will produce a reliable installation and years of dependable service. All work should be performed by a qualified technician. Disconnect the power supply while performing any installation or maintenance procedures to the engine heater. Never work on the heater while the power supply is connected. Drain and thoroughly flush the cooling system before installing the engine heater. Never operate the heater unless coolant is present in the heating chamber. Hot Start recommends the use of isolation valves for tank-style heater installations to facilitate maintenance and servicing of the engine heater. Always be certain that isolation valves are open whenever the heater is energized to permit the flow of coolant. When installing a Hot Start tank heater, there are several things to keep in mind to help you maximize both its efficiency and lifespan. The heater return port needs to be high on the coolant system and preferably toward the rear of the engine, away from the engine thermostat. If the heater return is too close to the engine thermostat, the thermostat may open during heater operation. This will allow hot coolant to circulate through the radiator and diminish heater performance. The heater supply port should be located at the lowest point possible in the coolant system of the engine, such as a block drain or lower radiator hose, preferably toward the front of the engine. The coolant can be pulled from one side of the engine and returned to the other. This is recommended for V-type engines. Positioning the supply and return ports as far apart as practical will help to maximize the heater's efficiency. If the ports are too close together, the coolant will not have an opportunity to warm the engine before returning to the heater. For situations where threaded engine ports meeting this criteria are not available, Hot Start provides adapters to convert core plug openings into usable plumbing points. Be sure to select the appropriate hose and fitting sizes to plumb the heater based on the heater type. Using hoses that are too small will decrease the efficiency of the heater and can shorten its longevity. Use the largest diameter hose and fittings that are practical in your installation. See your heater's installation manual for specific size recommendations. To more closely monitor engine temperature, a remote thermostat can be installed in a separate engine port. Locate the remote thermostat away from the heater return port. This will maximize the heater's efficiency. Your Hot Start tank heater comes with a mounting kit and there are a few simple installation tips that will help you optimize its performance and lifespan. Mount the heater directly below the heater return port at least six inches below the lowest point of the engine water jacket. Tank heaters are typically mounted to the engine support frame. Avoid mounting the heater directly to the engine due to potential vibration damage to the heater. A position that will minimize the length of hose running to or from the heater will reduce heat loss and flow restriction. Coolant flow through the heater and engine is based on the principle that heat causes the coolant to rise. As coolant flows into the heater's intake opening, it is warmed by the element and begins to rise. The heated coolant exits through the outlet opening, creating continuous circulation. The heater thermostat senses the temperature of the coolant and cycles the heater on and off. To maximize flow, ensure that there are no high points in the hose leading to the heater. This has the potential to trap air. For the heater return plumbing, Ensure that the hose has a continuous rise all the way to the engine. Avoid dips and high points in the hose routing. The heater hose should never be routed above the highest coolant level of the engine or else circulation will be restricted. Proper hose routing will allow the heater to circulate coolant throughout the engine, 
and will avoid potential airlocks that can stop the flow of coolant. Ensure that any isolation valves are open. Before adding coolant, check your engine manufacturer's recommendations for the proper mixture. Only deionized or distilled water and a low silicate antifreeze should be used in your coolant mixture. The antifreeze water mixture should never exceed a 60% antifreeze to 40% water ratio. The use of hard water or water softened with salts is one of the most common causes of failure to the heating element. Fill the engine with coolant. Start the engine, but do not yet energize the hot start heater. Let the engine run until the engine thermostat opens. This will help purge the air out of the heater and plumbing. Turn off the engine and let it cool down. Look over the entire system for leaks and check the coolant level. Top off the coolant if necessary. Heater failure can occur if all of the air is not removed before proceeding. After eliminating the air in the coolant, you can safely connect the heater to a properly grounded power source. Make sure to follow national and local electrical codes. Check the hose temperature to verify coolant flow. The return hose should quickly get warm to the touch. After the initial warm-up, evaluate the heater operation by performing the following checks. Verify that the coolant temperature coming out of the heater is less than 180 degrees Fahrenheit during the entire period the heater is energized. Monitor the heater to determine whether it is cycling on and off. The heater should not cycle more than four times per hour. Your hot start engine heater should now be keeping the engine warm and ready to meet your startup requirements. Watch the maintenance and troubleshooting video if your installation is not performing in accordance to these guidelines. For more information about Hot Start products and services, visit hotstart.com. Hot Start, the world leader in engine heating solutions.